hello everyone and welcome to my channel so in this tutorial i just want to address a couple of issues that you get when you are deploying your application to firebase and now if you are new for the very first time this is a follow-up video on a tutorial that i made which is how to deploy your angular application to firebase step by step all right so you need to check out that tutorial before you come to this one you only get here when you are experiencing issues like the page is not found and another issue of getting the default firebase hosting page when you have done the firebase deploy command so in this video we want to address how to solve this issue so let's go to firebase application to uh, angular application now in this app um we have already set up everything so to know the step-by-step -step process on how to deploy your application to firebase once again check out my previous tutorial on how to deploy your application to firebase step by step i'll put a link in the description below all right so you've done all of the steps but you are getting this error page not found all right and the reason why you're getting this we address it in a bit but if you are getting the other error which is the default firebase hosting page you would have to so when you're going through the firebase init guide so you do firebase init firebase init when you go through the guide you will get to a part where you want to select no when you are asked to overwrite the index file select no for that and that should solve the problem and let's say you've done that and you are still here wow okay so let's address this the first thing you want to do is you come to your firebase.json you see this guy here public this slash firebase deploy this is the link to the production file that angular helps you generate all right so for example when you do ng build when you do ng build so when you do ng build the build generation completes and then this dist folder is created for you you can see in this dist folder we have a subfolder called firebase deploy and then we have another subfolder called browser now if you check carefully you will see that the index of html this is what we want for this is what we want firebase to deploy for us you see that the index of html is inside a folder called browser we don't need to be inside the browser we need to be inside the body of the firebase deploy or the reason why i'm saying this is because if you go to your angular.json your output path is directing to the dist slash firebase deploy no browser so you can do that here you can change the output part here um, or you come to your firebase.json where you have the public hosting all right make sure you have your rewrite as well and then the destination is index.html when you have where you have your public right so because we have this guy right here when we do firebase deploy it won't work so we do firebase deploy all right so we have this guy um right here let's copy this like same thing as this guy paste it right here so we get page not found all right so how do we solve this now we are going to route our public to this slash firebase deploy slash browser so let's do that slash browser all right so after that particular change i'm going to play my console and i'll do firebase deploy again all right so let's go back to our page and just refresh you see our angular application has been deployed firebase deploy all right so let's say another way of fixing this is let's take out this guy right here okay and i do my firebase deploy again okay let's refresh we get this error so another way of fixing that would be uh, this is a hacky way but um you just copy all of the files inside the browser folder and i'll do hold my shift copy this you know everything inside here then drag and drop inside the firebase deploy okay, you can copy so hold shift and this then drag and drop inside the firebase deploy yes move and so the folder is now empty I'm going to delete this guy so move to trash so you can see that i have my dist folder and the firebase deploy 
have now as the index of HTML in it, all right? So, uh, because that is where our Angular JSON output path is pointing to, all right? So I will do my Firebase deploy again. All right, so let's go ahead and refresh. Awesome, thank you all for watching. Bye for now.